Hola chicos, hola chicas. Opinions, opinions and opinions. In your exams, you will find bullet points and questions asking you to express your opinion about a wide range of topics. And sometimes you probably are not going to understand the topic or maybe you understand the topic, but your opinion, even in English, is not really, really useful. So today we are going to learn how to express your opinion about any single given topic in your exams following this frame. And we're going to use this frame to help you to structure your writing and to help you to remember how to write down opinions about any topic. We follow seven steps to complete this frame and also to help you to remember when you need to do it in exam conditions. Opinions could be about any topic. It could be about matrimonio, it could be about las corridas de toros. It could be about el uso excesivo de las redes sociales. O it could be about el uso de la bicicleta en la ciudad. O el racismo, por ejemplo. Any topic. Follow on this frame. Comenzamos. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill up this frame first, step by step, and then you're going to be able to express your opinion, your agreement or your disagreement about any so topic. The first bit, as you can see, is in here is a wow expression. Wow expression. Now, a wow expression is, I call it wow expressions because if you're the teacher who's marking your exam, they see you writing this at the beginning, they're going to say, wow, because they are, it's a really, really nice way to start your so, sentence. In my opinion, which is the, probably the easier one, in my opinion, my opinion, para serte honesto, to be honest with you, para serte honesto, if you are a girl, you probably need to change the O to A, para serte honesta, para serte honesto. La verdad es que, the truth is that, and then you express your agreement or disagreement about any particular topic. La verdad es que, the truth is that, and probably one of the ones, probably the one that probably is more used in Spanish speaking countries is, pues, te digo una cosa. Literally is, well, I'll tell you one thing. In English, we'll say, I'll tell you what. Well, I'll tell you what, and then you express your opinion. Pues, te digo una cosa. En mi opinión, Para serte honesto, o para serte honesta, la verdad es que, and, pues, te digo una cosa. The second column is about your agreement, and that is the key verb that you need to use in the frame. So we got two basic ways to say agreement and disagreement in Spanish. Estoy de acuerdo con. Estoy de acuerdo con. I'm agree with something. And to say you disagree, you just add no. You just add no before estoy de acuerdo. No estoy de acuerdo con. I'm not agree with something. If you agree, estoy de acuerdo con. El matrimonio. Uh, using too much social media. Do you agree? Estoy de acuerdo con usar demasiado las redes sociales. Demasiado actually means too much. And it's always a negative word. If you disagree with marriage, no estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio. You just literally add no before estoy de acuerdo. Sometimes you probably don't have an opinion or agree or disagree. You don't really care. You don't really mind. And we got two verbs for that in Spanish. Me da igual and no me importa. And both of them literally means as well, I don't care. So you might don't care or don't mind about marriage. Me da igual el matrimonio. We're going to put these agree or disagreement verbs in the second column. So we got estoy de acuerdo con. I agree with something. No estoy de acuerdo con. I don't agree with something, and then when you don't really have an opinion or you don't really mind, me da igual, and no me importa.
After this, you obviously have to mention the topic from the bullet point. So it could be el matrimonio, ver corridas de toros, el racismo, o usar demasiado las redes sociales. And a good tip is that normally you can copy from the bullet point the issue or the topic or the theme that you are given. Now we can add these three columns and write down a really nice sentence expressing your agreement about something. About marriage, el matrimonio. En mi opinión, estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio. Pues te digo una cosa, estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio. For that reason, it's so important to use these wow expressions at the beginning. You obviously need to justify your, your agreement or disagreement, and you already know this, but you have to use different ways to say because in Spanish. Because debido a que, a causa de que, puesto que, dado que, ya que, and obviously porque, which is probably the most common one because it's shorter. But in your writing, I recommend you to use these two. Debido a que, and a causa to put de. that in the fourth column. A causa de que, debido a que, and puesto que. You want to justify your opinion saying, because it's good for you, or because it's bad for you, or because it's bad for someone else, or because it's good for someone else. Es bueno, it's good, es positivo, it's positive, and es sano, it's healthy. Es malo, it's bad, es negativo, it's negative, and es mal sano, it's unhealthy. We are going to put that in here. Es bueno, es positivo, and es sano, and es malo, es negativo, and es mal sano. for you, it's good for your family, it's good for the society, it's good for your city. And we're going to use para, which are really, really nice connective, which means for. So we can say, es bueno para mí, it's good for me. Es bueno para mi familia, it's good for my family. Es bueno para mi ciudad, it's good for my city. O es bueno para la sociedad, it's good for the society. And we are going to put that in here. Para. And then, me, my familia, mi ciudad, and la sociedad. So, you can add to this basic agreement that we did at the beginning of this lesson, you can add the reason. En mi opinión, estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio a causa de que es bueno para mí. It's good for me. Maybe you disagree with marriage. So, en mi opinión, no estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio. A causa de que es negativo para mí. Because it's negative for me. And instead of saying it's good or it's bad for you or for your family or for the society, you can mention an opinion right after because. You know a lot of opinions start with me. Me flipa, me mola, me encanta, me chifla, I love it. Or a negative ones. No me gusta, I don't like it, me da asco, it makes me feel sick, no me flipa, I don't love it. But you can try to write down more, a little bit more complex opinions. Me motiva, it motivates me. Me apasiona, I feel passionate about something. Me hace feliz, it makes me happy. And then the negative. Maybe you feel demotivated, me desmotiva. You feel depressed, me deprime. You feel ashamed about something, me avergüenza. And maybe, maybe you feel sick, me da asco. And we're going to put this right after because, in here. Me motiva, with the positive, or me desmotiva, with the negative. In there. So after because, you got two options. You can either say this, Es bueno, es malo, para, and whoever you think is good or bad, or an opinion. Right. Now, 
Now, the great thing about using this frame is help you to write down and speak in sentences that are a little bit more complex than the ones that you probably are going to use if you don't follow this. For example, normally, if you, they give you the topic of el matrimonio to express your opinion, you probably remember this from year seven. Me gusta el matrimonio porque es divertido. I like marriage because it's fun. This is fine. I mean, this is not a bad sentence. It's grammatically correct. But you learn actually this in year seven. Instead of that, check it this out. Following this frame, this is the sentence. In my opinion, estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio. In my opinion, I agree with marriage. A causa de que me motiva. Because it motivates me. In a negative way, but well, no me gusta el matrimonio porque es aburrido. I don't like marriage because it's boring. Now, this is fine, but it's something and a structure that you learn in year seven. And for your exams, you need to do something a bit more uh, complex. In my opinion, I choose that wow expression, but you could probably choose another one. No estoy de acuerdo con el matrimonio. I don't agree with marriage. A causa de que me da asco. Maybe you feel sick getting married. I don't know. Is that so try to use this frame to express your opinion, your agreement, your disagreement. Away from these frames is much more difficult for you because you probably have to think in English and translate into Spanish, and that sometimes creates problems. And I'll give you an example. Aprender idiomas. They might ask you to uh, express your opinion about this. Aprender idiomas, to learn languages. Pues, te digo una cosa. Estoy de acuerdo con aprender idiomas a causa de que es bueno para mí. Ruso. Adiós, chicos. Nos vemos.